Mr. Chairman, thanks to all the witnesses for being here. Ms. Pappas, let me start with you. I have to say it's great to see you here today. I have repeatedly invited your company to testify before Congress. I invited them to testify to the Judiciary Subcommittee on Crime and Terrorism in November of 2019. I invited them to testify again in September of the following year. Both times we were stiffed. TikTok told me that they would set up a meeting with the CEO. They didn't want to testify in public, but they set up a meeting with the CEO after November 2019. They then canceled that meeting. So uh, it's nice to see TikTok being willing to answer questions uh, in public. It's a, it's a pleasant change. Um, let's, let's dig into a few things, if we could, specifically about TikTok's links to the Chinese Communist Party. In response to a letter from some of my colleagues, TikTok claimed earlier this year that the company has never shared data, never, with the Chinese government. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. And has never shared data with the Chinese Communist Party. Is that correct? We will never share data, period. Uh, my question was in the past tense. Have, has TikTok ever shared data with the Chinese Communist Party? We have never shared data with the Chinese government, correct. With the Chinese Communist Party? Yes, correct. Uh, do you have any, uh, have you ever shared it with uh, members, two members of the Ch Chinese Communist Party? We have said many times, Senator, that we do have Chinese en engineers based in China. I don't think there's any platform up here that would be able to speak to what you're talking about in, as it relates to the political affiliation of an individual. But I'm happy to assure you that we are ensuring the access controls around our data as well as the storage of that data in the United States. So I think you're telling me that there are TikTok employees or ByteDance employees who are members of the Chinese Communist Party? Is that to what I No, I'm saying information? I wouldn't be able to verify that. Oh, well, let me just ask you that affirmatively. Are there members of, are there TikTok employees or ByteDance employees who are members of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm saying nobody that's sitting on this panel could tell you a political I'm not interested about anybody's opinion. Any I'm asking individual. you a factual question. Are there members of the Chinese Communist Party employed by TikTok and ByteDance, yes or no? I wouldn't be able to tell you the political affiliation of any individual. What I can tell you is how much we're investing. I know, in membership in the, in the Communist Chinese Party is not exactly well like membership in the Democrat Party. Controls. So I'm, I'm looking for an answer. You, you so tell me you don't know? TikTok doesn't know. I'm, I, here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that our U.S. and Singapore leadership, there are no... CCP members, I can tell you. So you that do know that, but, you, but you're telling me that you don't know if there are any members who are employed by TikTok or ByteDance, members of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I am happy to share that we are putting access control. That's not my question. My question well is, that's not my question. My question is, are there any TikTok employees or ByteDance members, uh, employees, members of the Chinese Communist Party? Yes or no? Senator, I'm saying nobody could sit up here and give you that So you answer. don't know? You're saying you don't know. You do know your leadership isn't, but you don't know about your employees. Is that your testimony? I know that everyone who makes a strategic decision at ah. this platform is not a member of the CCP. A strategic Correct. decision. Okay. It's interesting. It's interesting to me that you're quite confident that anyone who can make a strategic decision, how many people is that? It's our leadership team. So Number. And again, the leadership team is based in the U.S. and Singapore. Our CEO is based in Singapore. He's not Chinese. Um, happy to go into the efforts that we Would it surprise you to learn that Forbes magazine recently reported that at least 300 current TikTok or ByteDance employees were members of Chinese state media and affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? Again, we don't look at the political affiliations or can't speak to individuals, but what I can tell you is we're protecting the data in the United States. Well, because apparently, though, you do look so. at political affiliation because you're quite willing to sit here and tell me that no one who has strategic input or makes strategic decisions is a member of the Chinese Communist Party. So you do know very well, as a matter of fact. You just don't want to answer my other question. We have thousands of people that work at the company, so I'm not going to vouch on the political affiliation of any particular individual. What have I you seen the videos of Chinese Communist Party members conducting training for TikTok and ByteDance employees no. in China? Those, that, that's fake? I do not know what you're referring to, but what I can tell Has you that is happened? any decision... Has that I, happened? Sir, I just said that. I couldn't be able to tell you. I haven't seen it. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but I'm happy to follow up. But what oh, I wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Let, let's go back. Let, let's see if we can cut through the mumbo-jumbo. I'm asking you if the Chinese Communist Party has conducted training sessions ever for employees of ByteDance or TikTok, yes or no? 
not for TikTok. TikTok, the app, does not operate in China. We are You have employees in China. ByteDance has employees in China. Listen, we've been through this song we and dance, so let's just skip that. I've heard it all before. Senator, I appreciate Answer appreciate my question. That. Yes or no, have they conducted training for ByteDance employees or TikTok I speak, employees? I can speak on behalf of TikTok, and the answer is no. No, that's interesting. Do any TikTok employees based in China have access to U.S. user data? As we have publicly said, yes, we have engineers in China. And, but and none of them are members the of the Chinese controls. Communist Party. We are working on the access controls to minimize that I've data I've heard access. that. I frankly working don't believe the United any of it. States and through the CFIUS. Wait, wait, wait. So your testimony is that you do have TikTok employees based in China who do have access to U.S. user data, but you're confident that none of them are members of the Chinese Communist Party and have ever accessed it? Is that Anyone your who has access to U.S. user data has and does so to perform daily duties. So if it is for the performance of site management, um, bug handling, but we have strict controls in terms of who and how our data is accessed. Furthermore, and, and none of them are, none of that's accessible to any member of the Chinese Communist Party. Is that your testimony? We believe we have the strictest controls that's out not there. My question. That's not my question. My question Oracle. is, are any... Mem it, does anyone who have access to user data, are they members of the Chinese Communist Party? I feel like I've answered your question. You haven't, and I, I feel like you're avoiding it no, at I, every opportunity. Um, <laughs> so let me give you I'm, another one, since you're on, on the record me, and can indeed I be under oath. As clear as, as I would welcome you being clear. Okay, Do thank you. any person who has access to U.S. user data, are they members of the Chinese Communist Party? Yes let or no? Let me be clear again. Yes or no? The, you, for our U.S. users, the data is stored and housed in the United States. We have access controls. You're not in answering place. my point. Let the record and reflect. You for, will not answer my question. Why for not? Any of that data, it's overseen by our U.S.-led security team. That's not the. That's not my question. Daily. That's not my question. My question is: Does data, any employee who has access to U.S. user data are they members of the Chinese Communist Party? You won't and answer again, that question. And again, as a global technology platform. There is no other company that could make that assertion either. That sounds like a yes to me. That's, I think that's I'm, news. Uh, you're familiar, I know, with this BuzzFeed article that says that more than, according to more leaked audio from more than 80 internal TikTok meetings, China-based employees of ByteDance have repeatedly, repeatedly accessed non-public data about U.S. TikTok users. Everything is seen in China, said a member of TikTok's Trust and Safety Department in a September 2021 meeting. In another September meeting, a director referred to one Beijing-based engineer as a master admin who has access to everything. These reports show data was accessed far more frequently and recently than previously reported. And your testimony is that this is false? Correct. All of this is false? That is correct. No, so there are... There Everything are, that you just stated, there is no such thing as a master account. Uh, that's not what it says. Period. It says that someone is referred to as a master admin. Well, but you're telling me that China-based employees have never accessed non-public data of U.S. TikTok users. No, we've famous. already said on the record that we have Chinese employees who have accessed data. Well, that's what this is saying. So you agree? If you want to clarify on each individual statement, I'm saying that there is strict access controls around the data that is accessed in the United States that is overseen by our U.S.-led security team. We are working with Oracle. That's not, what this, that's not what this article says. We disagree with the categorization in that article wholeheartedly. Oh. Well, here's the point. I know there are other senators who want to ask questions. I think we're going to have a second round. What the truth appears to be, besides the fact that we can't get a straight answer on any of these questions, is that you have hundreds of employees with, it appears, access to U.S. user data that may very well be members of the Chinese Communist Party. You have no way to assure me that they don't have access we, to our own, to our citizens' data. And you won't answer my question in a straightforward way about whether a CCP member has ever gained access or not. I think, from my own point of view, that's a huge security problem. Senator, if Thank I you. may, we are one of the most highly scrutinized platforms. There have been many cybersecurity experts who have researched our platforms, including Citizen Lab, which is a leading academic research unit based in the University of Toronto, who have said, and I am happy to submit this for the record for the committee, that our research shows that there is no overt data transmission to the Chinese government by TikTok. 
TikTok's program overt. features overt? and codes do not pose a threat to national security. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Overt there data transmission? Ms. Pavis, this isn't, a, this isn't a hearing for you to testify at will. You're here to answer questions. I'm providing you with so, information. No, you're not. You're, just, you're talking over me, and you're submitting the information from a, a, who knows who funds this entity, who knows who's behind it, who knows what it contains. I don't know. What I do know is you won't give me straight answers to, your, to my questions, and the reason, I think, is pretty clear, because your company has a lot to hide. You're a walking security nightmare, and for every American who uses this app, I'm concerned. Senator Lee, thank you. Uh, Senator Austin.